Welcome to St Giles's Cathedral, Edinburgh. At least 900 years old, it first came into being as a Romanesque church in the 12th century. It was founded by either King Alexander or King David I in 1124 and predates most of Edinburgh Old Town. Drama began early here. Edward II decided to punish the Scots for the signing of the Declaration of Arbroath in 1320. And as such, a ravaging army was sent to pillage the church and the town in 1322. Despite this, in 1384 the church hosted a meeting of Scots and French representatives, the Old Alliance. They aimed to plan an invasion into England, but the English King Richard II struck first. In 1385 he sent an army to destroy St Giles's, along with other Scottish churches. St Giles's was once again burned, with black scorch marks still visible into the 19th century. The building survived largely intact though, and by 1390 was restored with the aid of the city merchants. The church expanded over the following century and many nobles and merchants made donations. One such donation, given by Sir William Preston in 1455, was said to be an arm bone of St Giles himself. To top it all off, the church was granted collegiate status by Pope Paul II in 1466. Culture flourished around the church in the 16th century and Scots Macar Gavin Douglas was made provost in 1508. The church also expanded physically during this time. It had around 50 side altars by the mid 16th century. St Giles's was soon to witness events surrounding the Scottish Reformation too. With the St Giles's Day riot in 1588 after the theft of a church statue and disruption to the traditional St Giles's Day parade. The next year the Protestant John Knox became minister after leading an army of Protestants into the church to preach. The church's status as Catholic finally ended after 400 years in 1560. The Scottish Parliament abolished papal authority and the church silver was melted down to pay for redecoration in the Protestant style. In 1637, Charles I attempted to draw St Giles's into line with the English Anglican Church. Though his declaring St Giles's a cathedral and his introduction of a new prayer book did not go down well. An outraged woman named Jenny Geddes threw a stool at a preacher, leading to a riot. The National Covenant was signed nearby at Greyfriars Kirk in 1638, and an original copy is displayed in St Giles's today. St Giles's witnessed more drama as well during the Jacobite Risings, and it was here, in 1745, that city magistrates gathered to receive the command to surrender the city to Bonnie Prince Charlie. Though St Giles's fell into disrepair in the following years, it gained a new lease of life with refurbishment in 1872. It continues to stand as a Presbyterian church, and its interior it really is a testament to its fascinating history.